Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. I'm here in my 38H wearing my Iron Man shirt to show you the first game of the day, literally. Right out of the gate, I thought, well, I'm nothing better to do than to play a commander building mission and see what we can get, you know, roll the dice. So I'm running with a times eight commander booster. And I got Mountain Pass, which I thought would be really a good map for me. So I decided that I would head here to the bridge. This gives me the best possibility of being elevated over the guys here in Wrong Ways Out. And also leaving me with, you know, an easy cross across the bridge. So that's what I'm doing at this moment that you see. So here we go, you can see the bridge right there. And spoiler alert, a guy is going to show up there. But I want to look to the left to see if anybody showed up at Wrong Ways Alley because it's a fairly popular place to go. Shazam! Fresh meat. Now that is a tier 3 tank. Oh look, here's that guy I told you about. A Panzer II. We're all Panzer II. You're in trouble, Sonny. He really wasn't a threat. He kept backing up. So I thought, well, I'm going to go forward and get out of the shot ability of that Tier 3 on my left. Since I'm only a Tier 2. I'm going to move forward, crush this Panzer II, and then see what else I can you know, stir up. This guy's not penetrating me at all because he's not using premium ammo. Me, I use only premium. Every shot is going through him and he's getting annihilated. Hasta la vista, Panzer II, baby. All right. I thought I was going to press forward. I go, you know what? I've got the elevated ground. Let me see if I can drill this guy. And look, there he is. He's trying to roll up to hit my boys. Like, okay, that'll be fantastic. This will be a, you know, a Malachi Crunch. A tier three tank sandwich. And then I saw, holy moly, there's that sniper. Guess what, buddy? It's not gonna look good for you. I'm the sniper in this situation, not him. So I, okay, well, he got out of the way, so fine. I'll just kill that T-46. Now, this match was a 12-robot match, and so I just killed two of their three humans. It doesn't look good for them. So, onward. If this is the kind of situation, when you get this situation with the proper placement of your tank, dead center, just about, of the match. I can go anywhere on this map that I want to from this location. It's on. Now my main goal here is to fight these guys one-on-one -on -one as much as possible. I got this guy. I'm going to clean his clock. So in this position, my 38H is a sniper. Now this guy has five commander skills. So I have a quick learner, I've got a rapid reload, I've got armor angling, I've got um, steady aim, I've got one more, most of my other basic one. Oh, I killed that guy. Again, one on one. Oh, born leader, that's what I have. So those are my five commander skills. Now I was working on skill number six in this match. So I'm not really like overpowered. I'm just a really, you know, strong, solidly set up five skill 38H. But my armor 
with, is doing a great job with the armor angling because it makes a huge difference in this tank. It's like wearing a bulletproof vest in real life. You're really hard to kill when you have it. Not impossible, but hard. All right, fantastic. Now there's only two guys left. There you go. Try and keep them as one-on-one -on -one as you can get. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's got behind the rock, that jerk. And that's basically it. I will not make it to this last guy because you can see he's on the other side of the rock down there at Kilo 4. But that's okay. I cleaned clock. But hey, I always go to the last guy. You never know. You just might get lucky. So, needless to say, I had a banner game in this game. And I knew that I was going to be scoring monster. And I mean monster. So, it's over. Fantastic. Let's check the results, shall we? And on the medal screen, we find, well, yes, we are the gold medal winner. MVP. Seven kills. Not my record. 2181 damage. Also not my record. But awesome when you're building commanders, man. You look for those 2,000 plus games. Here we are at the end of game screen. Now, I did so much damage, and you get paid in silver for that damage to the point where normally I lose about 30,000 on this tank. But I only lost 19,000 blah 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 because I did so much damage, which is fantastic. Look at that bar. It's just going through the roof. Challenges. The next one. Boom. Additional earnings. I almost finished off that next slot in one game because of, as you can see, the blue experience, 99,948. This was a no-brainer and obvious video to make to show you guys the power of the 38H. You know, 10,000 tank experience, tremendous for operations. Oh, and by the way, what operation are we in? We're in the season pass operation. So that was terrific. Medals. Got the ace badge. Now, I've already had the ace badge multiple times, but the symbolism is that you had an awesome game whenever you see the golden M on your screen. And I knew that when I was going in. I didn't know I was going to have that, but I knew I was had a great game. So cool-headed, you know, survive at least 10 ricochets, no problem. Duelist. Kill two guys that cause damage to your tank, no problem. Shell proof. Total damage blocked by your armor exceeds my hit points. Jackpot. Oh, I realize you can't see the M badge in the video because my hideous face covers it. Oh well. You've seen it before, I'm sure. Steel wall. Receive potential damage of a thousand hit points or more. Fine. Do the most damage in the game. Kill six or more guys. Do more damage than your hit points. And this is knockout crew and or modules. So a total jackpot of a game, to say the least. I could move this to the side. Watch this. If I slide over... Now you can see, I don't know, maybe I should do this for these matches. Probably a good idea. Let's leave it like this and see how it goes for the rest of the video. So, here's the setup. Now what you can't see on the equipment is the 
traction system for speed, powertrain for more speed, because the 38H doesn't have speed. I have advanced optics, and I have the fan. This is what gives me the best crew performance I can get, because the born leader does the same thing as this fan, which does the same thing as this enhanced rations. This gives me a triple play of crew improvements. You'll see I'm going up behind my face to check on the gun accuracy. Gun accuracy here, as you see on the far right side, 0.32. This is as good as this gun gets. All right, and you saw me just maul people because the 38H is a mauling short range sniper. It fires every two seconds. We're gonna hit this here, you're gonna see this. Right there, it says primary in the center column. Reload time, 2.00 seconds. All right, this is what happens when you have the full basic skills on your guy. I'll show you that in a moment. So turret rotation is pretty good, standard 53 degrees per second, not bad at all. Now here at the very bottom, you're gonna see the bonuses that you get. Silver bonus says 100. What that means is you get normal silver earnings. 100 means no bonus, it's just standard. So tank experience bonus, 170, that means you get 70% more tank experience in this tank than you would normally get in a regular tank. That's the jackpot, that's how I got 10,000 tank XP. Now, look below that, commander bonus, 150. So that means I get the regular bonus plus 50% every game. That's just for the tank. We add a three-star commander, that's 30% more, that's 80%. We add a quick learner skill on the commander, ka -ching. That makes it 40% or 90% bonus. And then we add advanced rations to the tank, ka -ching. That means there's five bonuses there, making that 50% into a 100% bonus. So the 38H will get you double the regular commander points if you stack it the way I've stacked it with a three-star commander with the quick learner skill and the uh, enhanced rations. This is what makes it the monster for building tanks. So now let's go back again. This match was a little bit longer than normal, six and a half minutes. But for a hundred grand in commander, I'm willing to sacrifice it. It was completely fantastic. So this is really representative of the type of game that you'd like to have in the 38H. You don't get these very often, believe me. And so you do your 38Hs every day. You do a couple, two, three, four, whatever floats your boat. If you do it every day, it's not a big deal. I don't wake up one day and go, hmm, you know, I haven't worked on 38H in a while. Let me do 30 missions. <laughs> it's such a snooze fest. You don't want to do 30 38H missions unless for some reason, you know, you wake up and go, man, it would be awesome if I played those. Okay, let's go do it. it it's fun to a degree. But sometimes 10 in a day is, is fun. Sometimes 2 in a day is fun whatever floats your boat. So that's the deal. Don't make it a chore. Make it a little tidbit that's like, okay, I'll play a 38 days today. I didn't play any. I mean, I might have played one yesterday, I think. But the last few days, I haven't played hardly any 38H missions. So I was like, dude, I need to play 38H. Okay. So that's what I did first thing out of the gate. If you look here, 38H here, the last mission I had was last night in my weasel, and then another weasel, and then I had another one in Ruinburg and my sextant, and in my sextant. So those were yesterdays. I mean, we'll go here. This is the most recent game. It's yesterday's date. That was that was the eighth of August. Today is the ninth. So now you know. I'm not. I don't make these stories up for 
dramatic purposes. I just tell it the way it is. If that's fine with you, great. If that bothers you, well, that's your problem, not my problem. I don't need to pump up fake stuff to make fake stats. So this is the 38H. It is a complete butt kicker. Nazi zombie. And you saw the butt being kicked in this match today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I certainly did. It was fantastic. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. You might want to recommend this to your friends so they can see this and learn the power. Sorry, let me go Darth Vader. The power of the 38H. Okay? Spread the word to them. Let them see. Maybe they'll leave a like or subscribe, what have you. Because I do this periodically. Pretty much that covers everything. So look forward to seeing you guys in my other videos. I have a whole streak going right now of rocket sniper tanks. Just game where I played one game, one game, one game, one game, one tank, I played two games. Show you some different abilities in Cold War. Maybe you're interested in rocket tanks, who knows? So that's basically it. Look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. Like and subscribe.